Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm back here with another live video because uh, I thought this uh, little encounter I had on uh, on in, on uh, Facebook was really funny. So, uh, as you, if you may not know, or if you, bleh, let me start that again. If you do not know, I'm a huge wrestling fan, and you probably know that. If you see my Facebook or my Instagram, if you hang out with me and see the stuff I post sometimes about wrestling or the things I want to talk about with wrestling. So I'm on this one uh, wrestling group on Facebook and this guy posted the question about if, if you know, do you think that the Montreal Screwjob was a work or a shoot. Now, of all the things to discuss about pro wrestling in 2020, this is still being discussed. I, I Granted, I understand that it's, you know, a historic topic. It helped change the wave of wrestling and how things were done. But at the same time, it's been talked about ad nauseum. The questions have been brought up several times. You know, there are guys who speculated if it's if it's if it was a work or a shoot. Guys who were there say if it's a work or a shoot. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're most likely not a wrestling fan. You might want to tune out, but if you're curious, you can Google it. But real quick, it was the late '90s, '97. Bret Hart, the pink and black outfit wrestler dude from Canada <laughs> where is the shades he was in a Hart Foundation with his brother-in-law Jimmy Neidhart and Jimmy Hart is the manager back in the 80s well in the 90s he was a great he was a big single star in WWF he was a world champion a few times and held other titles he had really heated feud with Shawn Michaels HBK you know uh, Heartbreak Kid and uh they had heated rivalry. Some of it was showbiz. Some of it was real, real emotions and stuff. So, Brett was going to be leaving WWF for WCW at the end of 1997. And at this pay-per-view, one of their big four at the time, Survivor Series, him and Shawn Michaels were going to have a match for the World Wrestling Federation uh, World Heavyweight Championship. And Brett didn't want to drop it because he had these feelings, you know, he had this disdain for Shawn Michaels, all sorts of emotions and politics, didn't want to drop it right there. They were going to do like a, an interference and then solve it the next night on their Monday night show, Monday Night Raw. And then there was a part of the match. So they have their match at Survivor Series, the main event. So there's a part of the match where Shawn Michaels puts Bret Hart into Bret Hart's signature move, the sharpshooter, submission move. And Bret didn't tap or anything or submit. And you hear this voice, which was Vince McMahon, because him and a few other officials went to, uh, to ringside, which is rare to see how this go about. And as soon as Brett was in the sharpshooter, you hear this voice, which is Shawn Michael, uh, Vince McMahon's voice, ring the fucking bell. So the referee, Earl Hebner, calls for the bell. Match is done. A lot of confusion. It's in Brett's hometown, Montreal. Crowd's like, what the fuck? Everything's chaos, whatever, and all that stuff. And. Vince did it because he was afraid Brett was going to show up on their competition's television show, Monday Nitro, PCW Monday Nitro, with the WWF. So he felt he did what he had to do in order to keep the belt and make sure it changed and he wouldn't leave without the belt. Very controversial. And yes, this has been discussed for over 20 years now. 23, I guess to be exact. Or almost 23. If this was a work, meaning it was part of the act, or if it was a shoot, meaning if it was real, 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 and, you know, 
no one knew what was going on. So, after all that, I get to this part where this dude asked a question on Facebook. Do you think the Montreal screw job was a work or a shoot? So I said it was a shoot. There's a lot of various comments. Some people say it was a work, some people say it was a shoot. So this dude who posts the fucking question on his board says to me, he first off, he left some other long-winded answer that I kind of didn't bother seeing because it's probably all conspiracy-ridden shit with the Montreal screw job and wrestling and stuff. But then he says to me, and there's a, there's a following comment where he says, cause, oh, because he says, he, he says, well, Brett drew WCW You know, with his fingers on the screen, like, like just, you know, like he did it, like he did it like this, you know, because he was already signed to go to WCW. So I always thought that was like, well, that's like a fuck you to Vince and to the WWF. Like, fuck you. I'm going to WWF, uh, WCW. I'm going to make a lot of money. And this dude was like, yeah. And for his first thing was like, well, if it wasn't a work, why would he put, why would he write WCW? I said, well, he probably wrote that because it was like a fuck you gesture to Vince. Like, fuck you, I'm going, you know, to these guys now and all this shit. And then he wrote some other, like, long-winded answer, like I said, that I didn't really read. And then the following thing, he writes, oh, but, you know, he does... Oh, well, when I replied, he replies to my comment where I said, you know, I thought it was a fuck you gesture to Vince. And then he replies with, well, no, yeah, it's out there. It's, it's, it's on video. You could find it. There's a gif of it. Like... Motherfucker, like, you think I have not seen this footage? I've seen this match like a million times. I've seen the footage more than the match itself. It's all over the place. He's this fucking virgin wrestling Mark douche. Thinks like he's seen everything and is like, oh, yeah, it's out there. You could see him doing it. It's like, and I told him, I'm like, dude, I'm like, I've seen it. I don't need to get a fucking gif or jif or whatever because I've seen the footage a million times. And I've seen a match so many times. And I just thought it was so fucking, you know, it was like ignorantly arrogant to this fucking guy to be like, oh, yeah, it's out there. You should check it out. And I'm like, like, do you think I've not seen this? Like, why am I even answering the fucking question? Like, then I wouldn't even know what the Montreal screw job is anyway. Like, come on. Like, wrestling fans are such fucking dope sometimes. Not all of them, but a lot of them are like fucking, you know, toxic fucking basement dwelling fanboys, you know. And if they don't like their reputation, that's the reputation they got. Because some of them are. And some of them do that kind of shit. Like, don't mansplain shit to me, dude. You know? Like, you're a fucking virgin fucking wrestling mark douche. Who thinks you know everything and you don't. So don't sit there and say, oh, the footage is out there. You can check it out. There's a chiff of it if you haven't seen it. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Like, what wrestling fan hasn't seen that, you know? Except for maybe like little ones who don't give a shit about the Montreal screw job or whatever. Like they'll learn about it as they get older if they haven't been told about it already. But ah, I just wanted a little rant here. A lot of you aren't gonna like really be like, whatever, because it's a wrestling thing and shit, but I just just the main gist of it is just like, you know, this dude being like telling me to find something that I've seen plenty of times already. And it was like, dude, like, don't assume that I haven't seen it. Like, if you see a lot of people haven't seen that, then you're a fucking dumbass mark. So all right, guys, I got to go to the store and uh, grab some stuff, so uh, I'll talk to you soon.